hey guys what's up what's going on welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl tiffany weka the Ghanaian based oh my jesus hey wahala <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry that nigerian based in ghana youtuber what's up what's going on guys oh my goodness long time no see it's been like two weeks since you've seen my face and i know i know i title this video like a lot of you are like oh my god oh my god just or just or just us well first of all first and foremost uh today would make it exactly almost a week since i took the covid19 vaccine i took it last week friday and i wanted to see how i felt although as soon as i took it like the next i wanted to vlog and like tell you guys i've taken the vaccine no but i wanted to see how i felt like you know because i heard there were some side effects if i before i took it i was so freaking scared like i was so so scared i thought that i don't know in fact i wasn't going to take it that's just the truth. i wasn't going to take it that's why when i initially took it a lot of people like my friends and some people were like ah you took this thing and i also have a colleague like that's also my friend that we had vowed we vowed together that we take the vaccine and when i took it it was like hey you took it how why <laughs> you know um first and foremost i'm doing well as you can see i'm smiling i'm happy you know people had their own vaccine stories like side effects crazy crazy side effects and i'm here to like clear some things out in my own perspective by the way like not anybody's perspective so anyway sit back relax and enjoy so yeah guys so um me taking the covid vaccine i'll tell you it was spontaneous when i say spontaneous it was not planned i didn't wake up like today and say oh today i'm taking the vaccine or i didn't wake up and say oh tomorrow let me plan to take the vaccine i didn't i didn't i i didn't plan it i wasn't even going to as i mentioned you know uh what happened was that the people that were administering the vaccine came to our office and uh, someone called me and she's like ah they are giving out vaccines are you not going to take her i think then i was i i had i was doing something and i was like ah vaccine 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 this was around like 10 30 i was like do i want to take this vaccine and i think on that friday i was going through a lot like i was in the mood i was not really feeling myself i was kind of feeling sad that day so i was not even in the right <laughs> I was not in the right head space like I was just like all over the place so I was like okay what the heck like fine because I'm not even because normal me if I was really feeling fine that day if I was okay like mentally and everything not stressed I don't think I would have taken the vaccine but anyways I went and I took the vaccine I took it at exactly 11.10 and I, I, I took my vaccine <laughs> I don't have my card here right now but I'll put a video of a short video of my card me taking my covid 19 vaccine i took it and i was like oh my goodness as soon as i took it i was like what the heck have i done i was like how do i explain to my colleague that i'm taking this thing that we vowed to not take <laughs> You know, because people had a lot of theories, or people still have a lot of theories as to why you're not taking the vaccine. I mean, my theory was even like, mm, they are using us as puppets in Africa. They are using us as as lab rats to experiment. But look at me, <laughs> Boo Boo the clown. I'm taking the COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> so, anyways, um, so the cook of the matter. How did I feel after taking the COVID-19 vaccine? Okay now disclaimer 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 my symptoms are different from mr a symptoms mr b symptoms mr c symptoms we are not the same our immune systems are not the same okay we all react differently to different stuff i would even personally tell you that i feel like i've had covid before like coronavirus but i feel like i'm asymptomatic so it probably left my body one way or the other because i'm someone that regularly maybe has headaches once in a while and feels nauseous once in a while but that's it basically with me so um after right after i took the, the uh the vaccine i was advised to take panadol i would i also advise you guys to, if you want to take the vaccine take panadol before or after make sure you're eating a lot prior to me taking the vaccine i'd not eaten that day in fact I had no eating. <laughs> I took the vaccine and I was gonna take Panadol. Who takes Panadol on an empty stomach? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> so I took Panadol and um, 
I think two hours later I got something to eat which I didn't really eat well you know I started feeling uh, a bit dizzy like faint and I feel like me feeling faint was not really mostly from the vaccine it might have been because I had taken Panadol on an empty stomach because when you take drugs on an empty stomach you tend to feel woozy so I was feeling woozy that day I was feeling really woozy you know so um after that I I you know I was just you know in my own element I wasn't feeling I was just feeling like you know really woozy no headaches I didn't have headaches no no headaches uh, I didn't have body pain I didn't feel nauseous at that moment just feeling woozy you know so I think later on in the day when I got back home my dad had advice that I took a like a painkiller to also sleep because if you don't take the next day you might feel headaches or whatsoever so i took Avil pm Avil pm is a painkiller just like them tylenol pm and the rest they make you sleep and they ease your pain and i think i also i was also um i also took it because i was already having a slight headache irrespective of how they said oh take it so that you don't feel sick the next day so i took that and on saturday being the next day i I was just feeling tired very tired like nothing left nothing there was nothing more I wasn't feeling nauseated I wasn't feeling a headache I was just feeling very tired like my body was weak you know very very weak I just wanted to sleep throughout so I couldn't tell whether I was feeling weak from my IV PM because IV PM has an after effect you know that side effect after effect thing like when you take it you know it's, a, it's, a, it's like it's sedative you know and sedatives make you feel like very chilled relaxed you know in your own space your own element so i wasn't really really sure if the problem was coming from my advil or coming from the uh the what's it called the vaccine so that was basically it you know i didn't throw up i wasn't having a bad headache i wasn't having joint pains and yes yes my arm was hurting me like i couldn't lay on my arm like the whole arm was spreading me <laughs> Like it was hurting me. I was like, ah, 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 don't touch me, don't touch me. It was really hurting me, pain me, it was pain me. But I, I swear, like after Sunday, I went, I, I did, I went to church, went about my father's business. You know, I, I was fine. I was completely fine. I, I did notice that later on that evening, I was having some mood swings. Like I was feeling like you know very edgy but then again that is also a side effect of Advil PM so I really couldn't tell I'm sorry guys Friday I couldn't tell because I took it back down empty stomach I couldn't tell if that was the reason I was feeling woozy and on Saturday prior to me taking Advil PM to sleep and waking up Sunday I couldn't tell if the side effects were still there you know then Monday came I was watching myself I think Monday I started feeling nauseous but then again <laughs> You guys please don't hate me then again i wasn't sure if it was the vaccine because normally when i'm close to my monthly circle like my flow i feel very woozy so i wasn't sure if at that point i was having little cluster headaches because of the vaccine so i just couldn't tell but what i would say is that i feel like it depends on your immune system to be honest like that's why i say people are so different for example i might get a cold i'm fine someone might get a cold and they are like jesus christ i might have menstruation like my measure of cramps rather and I'm fine maybe I'm not really hurting there can be another person she's having cramps she's having cramps you know she's she's having cramps she's rolling on the floor you know she's she's, she's dying <laughs> blah 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 you know we have different kinds of people you know when dealing with like certain stuff so you can't always compare yourself to people like you can't always say okay maybe because this person fell sick why they took the vaccine i will feel sick and i don't blame you because that was how i felt before i took the vaccine like ah because i started hearing stories of people falling sick i know somebody coming admitted if i saw one of the most craziest story of a girl that did not know she was pregnant and she took the vaccine and she died because apparently pregnant women pregnant women are not supposed to take the vaccine i was like hey all these stories that i'm hearing do i really want to take this thing and i took it when my mind was not stable that was when i took it if i was in a stable mind i am pretty pretty sure 100 percent sure that i'll be sitting down here and i wouldn't have taken the vaccine no although my parents were like you need to take the vaccine since you're always out there you take the vaccine i was like mm, please i'm not taking any vaccine please make me you can't make me take the vaccine i ain't taking no vaccine <laughs> but anyways i ended up taking the vaccine and 
just almost a week later i feel fine i feel good it's it was a normal thing i will say um i don't know to me god is the ultimate healer god is the only one that can say tell any sickness to bow down any sickness to disappear you know i will, i do not don't take i would advise you do not take the vaccine because of fear do not take the vaccine because of peer pressure do not take the vaccine when you're not in the right frame of mind like i did i'm trying to leave by example don't do that take it because you want to take it because you feel like it's the right thing to do if you feel like it's the wrong thing to do don't take it nobody is forcing you it's not a mandatory thing not that I know of. Take it because you want to take it, because you feel like taking it, because you feel like, okay, this is what I want. In life, don't allow anybody force you to do what you don't want to do. Right? Even that day, they brought it to the office. It wasn't. It was not by force. It was not my mandatory. If you wanted to take it, take it. If you don't want to take it, don't take it. Nice, Abby. That's it. Because we are all adults. We're grown. I mean, I think the only people that are not supposed to take it are kids and pregnant women. Aside from that, anybody else from 18 and above you can take it if you want to nobody will come to a university campus and say all students here must take the vaccine first of all we don't even have enough vaccines to go around but i will say this um if you if if you want to take it you should take it now don't wait don't try to observe people like never observe everybody around me before i take it because i i do very much believe that there will come a time whereby Getting these vaccines will be very hard. Even as of now, getting where to take it is very hard. Some people say they're only administering to like people from 40 upwards, 40 and above, 50 and above. They're not giving to youths at all because they're like, oh, they want to give it to the old people first. And I felt at the end of the day, even though I didn't know what to take it, I felt privileged that okay, yeah, my workplace could organize this thing for them to come to us. I mean, you know, just as far as we care. So it's not easy. Some people out there cannot come to you. So if you find if you find yourself in that opportunity, because one other thing I thought about, even though I was not in my right <laughs> right state of mind, was the fact that one day maybe I might want to take this thing and I won't have access. So let me just do it. Never does. Because at the end of the day, of the gods in my head, I still took it. So I would advise that. Yeah, just do you. <laughs> just do you. So anyways, guys, and is it basically this tell tell time story time about me taking my COVID-19 vaccine <laughs> oh my God, I that. I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry sorry but anyways guys uh yes so that was basically it and if you've taken the vaccine uh share your story with me tell me how it went what side effects did you have did you feel sick are you okay I feel fine I feel so so fine I feel so good like if I saw my skin is real glowing I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm kidding anyways guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and to meet again it's your girl Tiffany Rekha. Bye!